Welcome back, and this is part two of this week's uh, best and worst of the new DCU, in my opinion, of course. And, uh, of course, here we have my top three books of this week, and this should really come to no surprise to anyone, these three books, but uh, starting off is Batgirl number one. Uh, I knew this was going to be great. Of course, it was written by Gil Simone, and I'm a huge fan, and the art is also really nice. So uh, here we have Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, who's able to walk again. Uh, killing Joke still in play, uh, so people can stop complaining about that. It's just a good comic. Um, off the bat, we get a really dark start to a series that I thought would be a little more lighthearted. I'm not complaining about that, I'm just saying. What I was expecting was completely different than what we actually got, and I was surprised in a good way. Uh, we're introduced to Mirror, who is <laughs> a really crazy, what seems like a start to Barbara Gordon's rogues gallery, and he's so dark and crazy and demented that it actually puts a smile on my face reading this. I, I just know that um, Gil Simone's Secret Six side is bleeding over into this uh, just because of how dark it is and I am not complaining um, I've heard some people say that this doesn't feel like Barbara uh, I, I, I disagree with that sure she's not Oracle anymore but she is still very much Barbara Gordon it's still Gil Simone writing her and that is the main reason as to why I have been excited for this book and have complete faith that this book will be good so uh yeah it's a great story uh i i, I love the way gil simone writes barbara gordon her inner monologue her whip now witty dialogue and just the action is is really good also so uh it's a funny book great action and you can clear, cl clearly tell that gil simone is uh has a lot of emotion behind everything she writes in this book so uh again background number one so definitely definitely check it out and get over the whole thing that she's walking in because it's happening and it's great followed action comics one uh again another book that i was expecting great things and it did not disappoint of course, it's Grant Morrison, Rags Morales, and I love Grant Morrison. The art is actually really good uh, all throughout. Um, here we actually get the origin of Superman, of our new Superman. And it's not the same Superman we know. It's He's definitely not as powerful. He can't fly. Uh, and he's more of a jerk. I don't have a problem with that at all. <laughs> I actually like this Superman. It's he's young, he's brash, he's over confident, but of course, why shouldn't he be with all his powers? But so um, I'm really excited to see where this is gonna go. We get introduced to more of the world of Superman. Um, Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane, Lex Luthor. So. Uh, this is really exciting. It's going to shape up to be, in my opinion, one of the better um, stories in the DCU. Again, Grant Morrison is known for taking his series and just going on with them for years, for example, with Batman. So I really want to see what he's going to do in the course of two years, three years with this book. And I'm really excited, so definitely check this out. And, of course, for my pick of the week is Jeff Lemire and Travel Foreman's Animal Man with that beautiful cover. And uh, this book really surprised me um, in the way that I did not really care for Animal Man. 
the only reason I wanted to read this book so bad is because of Jeff Mir. I'm a big fan of his, and then again, who isn't? But uh, I really had no idea who um, Buddy Baker was. I had no idea who Animal Man was. I had no idea about anything. And this is the smartest thing I've seen in comic books. It's a recap page without calling it a recap page that flows directly into a story. It is an interview with Buddy Baker in a magazine that he's looking over and it just jumps directly into the story and uh, here we get his family we get to see him in action and as weird as it sounded before Jeff Lemire has said that this will be a family book and I can definitely see that now that I've finally read this first issue um, this is just amazing it looks beautiful. It's one of the, the 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 best looking books this week, in my opinion. Uh, next to your Nick Paquette's Swamp Thing, but that's a whole different story. And uh, yeah, this is definitely my favorite book of the week. And just that final page. I <laughs> I wish I could show you, but. You just have to go through this title. For example, for me, who I didn't know who this character was, I didn't know who his family is, um, it took me from page one to that final page, and it did it so well that I became attached to this character and his family. That way, when that last page hit, it hit hard, and boy, <laughs> it did. So, uh, this was Jeff Lemire at his finest, of course, with Sweet Tooth. This is clearly his forte, uh, a great horror story, so, uh, pick of the week, and definitely the best final page reveal. So, uh, Animal Man, pick it up. And that's it for this week. Until next week with more books, so, uh, thanks for watching.